Tonight, one Harris County criminal court district judge has freed a repeat violent offender from jail by granting him a total of 16 bonds. The same judge who took no action against a convicted sex offender who is now a wanted fugitive. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live from downtown with the latest installment in his series, Breaking Bond. Hi, Randy. Hi, Caitlin. I was pretty shocked when we were finding repeat violent offenders free from jail on 10, 11, maybe a dozen bonds. Tonight, we've got one walking among us with 16 bonds. Just wait till you hear who's paying for his attorney. Andrew Cruz is only 23, but he already has an array of mugshots. I mean, he's pretty much shown the court, I am going to commit crimes every time you let me out. Guess what? I will eventually return because I will be charged with another crime. And from where we sit, when is enough is enough. The only person who can answer that question is 232nd Criminal District Court Judge Josh Hill. Since 2017, he's granted Cruz a total of 16 bonds. Of which six are for aggravated felonies, including four aggravated robberies, a deadly weapon, an aggravated assault. He is a, re a true repeat offender. That guy needs to be locked up and away from society, and, and sadly, our courts are failing us in that. Last fall, the DA's office filed a motion asking Judge Hill to revoke Cruz's bond and put him in jail. And then a month later, for some inexplicable reason that there's no documentation, uh, the court gives him another bond. We go out there and arrest these violent offenders, put them in jail uh, over and over again, and the courts continue to let them out. Cruz is free from jail on bonds totaling $300,000. That means he had to come up with around 30 grand. Now guess who's paying for his attorney? You and I, the taxpayers are, and that makes zero sense. Even more troubling than Cruz is this 23-year-old guy, Carlos Martinez, a registered sex offender. In 2018, 232nd Criminal District Court Judge Josh Hill put Martinez on deferred probation for five years for sexual assault of a child. Martinez has spent his time on probation picking up six new criminal charges, including aggravated robbery and aggravated assault. The DA's office repeatedly asked Judge Hill to revoke Martinez his probation and sentence him to prison for five to 99 years. But he'll let Martinez remain free. But we have no clue where Carlos Martinez is. So he's now a wanted fugitive. That just blows my mind. Judge Josh Hill is the only judge who doesn't just ignore me. We've talked on Facebook. He, he wouldn't go on camera, but he sent me this quote. The Texas Constitution and bell statutes are written in a way that can at times create absurd results under certain circumstances. But again, you're the judge. Can't you revoke someone's probation and put them in prison? Reporting live from downtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.